In my last video, I made an I'm feeling lucky search tool for YouTube. I was messing around with it and I realized that if you search for a song and artist, it usually plays the right song. Then I remembered there's this website, you can give the URL of a YouTube video and it'll download the audio from that video. With a little bit of code, we might be able to put these two things together and automate music piracy. If you want to check out the video making I'm Feeling Lucky for YouTube, I'll link it in the little card thingy on the screen. I'll just give you the cliff notes for now. You can run the program from terminal and enter whatever you want to search YouTube for. The program opens a browser, searches YouTube for that, and then clicks the first link. I'm using Python and Selenium to do this in the Visual Studio Code IDE. So the user types the song and artist into the terminal, then that song should get downloaded. I can just copy and paste the code from YouTube Feeling Lucky into the new program. So we need to copy the URL of the first video Go to the YouTube to MP3 converter website. Paste the link into the entry box and click on the download button. I was gonna click here and get the shareable link, but I think I'll just Google and see if there's a way to get the URL of the current page in Selenium. There is, that's super easy we can just use the current URL method. I'm gonna add this to the clipboard so that we can paste it in the text box. So now we've got the URL, we need to go to the converter website. I'm going to import sleep to give the web page time to load in between commands. Okay, we're going to the converter website. Then we're going to paste the video URL. Now we go to the website, click on the entry box and paste the link. I'm going to right click and inspect the element. Okay, ID is input, so we can find element by ID. Will this work? This isn't working. I think it's the way I'm trying to paste the link. Uh, oh well, there's another Selenium method called send keys. I guess we'll try it out with that. Hopefully the send keys method will work. Okay, let's try to download Johnny Cash Ring of Fire. Ah, uh, yeah, cool, that's working. Next, we need to click on this convert button, so I'm gonna inspect that element.
The ID is submit. Convert element dot click. After clicking convert, we then need to click on download. So the download button doesn't have an ID, so we can't use find element by ID. We should still be able to find the element by X path though. So if you right click on this part here, you can copy X path. And we paste that into find element by X path. And now we can click the download button. I'll sleep for 10 seconds to give it time to convert. Alright, let's listen to Ring of Fire. Maybe 10 seconds was too long to wait. Here we go. Come on, ring of fire. Here we go, it's playing. Cool, it's all well and good to download the song, but we shouldn't really leave it in the downloads folder. We should move it to a designated music folder. We can do this from Python 2 because I'm pretty sure the downloaded file follows a naming convention. Ah oh yeah, it's just the name of the YouTube video .mp3. So how do we get the name of the YouTube video? We can inspect the title element. If we look at the HTML code, we can see that it says the title of the video. So if we're able to get the text from this element, we'll have the name of the video. Get the X path, then... Ah, oh, cool, then we can use dot text. name equals title element dot text cool import shootle shootle dot move from downloads to the music folder. Sleep for 30 seconds to give it time to download. And then quit the browser. I think we've done it. Let's test it out. Let's go. Get me Ring of Fire. It's going to YouTube. Opening up Ring of Fire. Pasting the link. Click to convert. Waiting. Oh, it started downloading.
A 30 second wait to quit the browser may have been a bit too long. And it's closed. It actually works. This is awesome. It's pointless because anyone can just use Spotify and this thing might actually also download the wrong song if it's not the first video to come up. Ah, oh well, this was a fun one. Thanks for watching. If you liked the video, leave a like. If you want to see more from me, consider subscribing. I'll see you in the next one.